Hey, it's me, Juvie, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout 3. Uh, we are doing the Wasteland Survival Guide. We are heavy in the thick of it. We are a regular scholar, a regular archivist, regular scientist. We're doing a lot. We're a, we're a frontiersman, and also Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier, however that's like. Anyways, welcome back to Stream of Consciousness. Uh, consciousness. Yes, if you're enjoying the series, remember, like in the videos. Leave in comments if you got them. And subscribing with the bell turned on all helps out this channel. Girl, and I appreciate those that do that sort of thing. Okay, let's uh, so subscribe. Yeah, what is it? Uh, the, the Cobalt sold box of scraps to Walter in a in a dilapidated tip. Man, I am just 10 for 10 with these, uh, 10 out of 10 with these jokes so far. Uh, yeah, buy some scrap. I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? I've got so much scrap. You know what? Uh, oh, yeah. We can do this for some uh, positive karma, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Just take all the scrap metal I have. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Okay. About 30 caps, I guess, right? And then 17 experience. Thank you very much. Well, back to work. Bye-bye, Walter. Okay, let's take a look. I think we've got our final. Is this the final one? No, wait, there's... I'm not sure. I don't want to... Spum, but I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, you know what? Okay, anyways, I'm not going to spoil anything. We are doing the Wasteland Survival Guide. Optional. Do not kill any Meyer Lurks in the Anchorage War Memorial. Place the Observer in a spawning pod in the Anchorage War Memorial. Uh, okay, so yeah, we got an observer as like a miscellaneous item, and we're gonna head on over there. Show location on the map. There's the Anchorage War Memorial. Uh, if need be, we should be able to just run in and run out. Uh, I wonder. Under the cover of darkness probably does help us stay hidden, right? But our sneak is so low that it's not really gonna help us out. Do we have a stealth boy? That would be effing fantastic. Let's see. We're looking for the S's down here. Uh, we do! Yeah, I was gonna say, it's been a while since I recorded this, uh, series, but I was gonna say, I think, if I remember right, we have one. So, sneak plus 100 instantly maxes out your sneak. Stealth field plus 75. Stealth field, I don't even know what that means. I guess, yeah, just, it makes you invisible, that's what that means. Uh, so we have to sneak in there, place the observer, and not kill any Meyer Lurks, which I think we'll just pop that now and go for it. I'm not afraid. I have to do less thinking about certain things and more acting about certain things without thinking about it, which is a which is a habit of mine to like you know overanalyze all that sort of stuff. Every and do, do door to Anchorage Memorial Facility, like, you know, overthink, overanalyze. That's just who I am. Uh, wait, where is our quest objective? I need to be handheld like a little wee baby. What's the quest again? What must we do? Uh, place the observer in a spawning pod in the Anchorage War Memorial. Okay, so we have to figure out where one of these things is very quickly before we are alerted. But yeah, stealth boys are great, because obviously they make you invisible, max out your sneak. So when we cannot be detected, that is the way to go. Now, we need to find a spawning pod. Uh, and I feel like she gave us a hint as to where that might be. And we are being timed, of course, as well. Uh, oh my god. Uh, anything in the desk, bottle caps. Yeah, we're getting caution, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it's very hard for them to see me, regardless. Uh, so yeah, we're looking for a bunch of eggs, basically. Uh, Pre-war books there. Yoink, 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 thank you. I think if we do touch them, uh, Wastelander here with 15 bottle caps. If we do touch the Myrlurks, I do think they get alerted. Uh, okay, we're back to being hidden. Uh, I feel like we have to drop down. So I'll really go. Yeah, by the way, these guys are incredibly strong, if I remember correctly. So, extremely, genuinely terrifying if they do notice me. There are some darts there. Yoink, thank you. Doing quick cursory glances. I know we missed some darts there, but it's fine. We're looking for a bunch of eggs. A little cluster of eggs. Uh, what do we have here? Any, like, unique little weapons? We've got a safe with an average lock, but of course we don't have enough lock picking still. Uh, we'll probably miss some stuff down here, by the way, as people will most likely point out. Oh, oh, I thought that was a spawning pod. Gosh dang We'll probably miss some stuff, but that's okay. We can always come back, you know? Oh my gosh, I can't hack or lockpick anything. The stealth boys do last for a very long time, by the way, so we don't have to... Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Right there. All right, we're gonna hop down here, and I think we just have to touch one of these things. Yeah? Open my alert spawning pod. The observer can easily be hidden in a mass of eggs. In the mass of eggs. Hide the observation device inside. Bam! Get him, I gotta get the heck out of here. Uh, I probably could just run. Okay, see, like, today I'm recording and I'm very focused. 
Uh, oh god. Oh god, and we're in danger. Alright, we're gonna get the heck out of here now. Um, yeah, so like, normally, I have trouble remembering where I am and how to navigate a place, because usually my brain's just going crazy, right? I'm just like... But currently, no caffeine, and also, just pretty focused. So like, I can, yeah, I can make my... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I can make my way around stuff a lot easier, I think. Who's this? Mercenary. See the name of these people up here, by the way. Leather armor, mercs, orders, and rat away. Ooh, I think we take the leather armor too, but our carry weight's getting up there. Uh, can we do that? No, of course not. Oh my god, are you serious? That's awful. Um, how the heck do I get out of here if I can't lockpick anything? That's gonna suck. Uh, okay, remember, we can't kill any, uh, so we're just gonna have to find another way out. Uh, maybe we read that mercs orders and get some, get some information here. Mercs orders. By now, your handler's given you the location of the job and your basic orders. Here are the details. Traders have been making a killing with Mirelurk meat. We've been losing business because of it. One of our people got involved with a caravan supplier, and we finally know where it's all been coming from. The meat's mostly coming from one group holed up along the river, smack in the middle of the ruins. There's a huge old facility under some war memorial where, they're, where they've... Where they've herded up a nest of buyer lurks and have been breeding and butchering them. They've been in business for months and are sure to be sitting on a pile of caps. Take what you can carry. We just want them out of the meat market. The rest is up to you. This isn't the biggest job, but pull it off clean and there's plenty more work for a man with your skills. Get back to your handler as soon as the job's done and we'll be in touch. Fortunately, that guy doesn't even get a name though. Uh, might as well... Door to Anchors Memorial. How do I get out of there, by the way? I'm just kind of like putting myself further and further. Oh, wait. This is where we started, wasn't it? Yeah, we came in from here, didn't we? Yes, yes, yes. Bye, bye, bye. Guys, I don't want to... Guys, I, you do your crabby thing. I have nothing against you guys. Um, at least not right now. I will be back and I will kill you. But not right now. Okay, can we can press T to see if we can wait, which we can. That was very easy. I remember as a kid doing that. Like, that was far harder. Far, far, far harder. Every time I say far harder, I always think of this imager comment, fart harder or something. Or the guy was called fart harder. Also, there was a creak in my chair that may have just sounded to the viewer yourself that I just farted, but I assure you I did not. Uh, anyways, yeah, Imager was a website where you could look at memes way back when I was in, like, college. And, like, I remember the most infamous negatively downvoted comment was by a guy, I think, called Fart Harder. And he left a comment that was, like, e uh, Edward Macaroni Fork. Because it was just a picture of a, ma of a fork with, like, two little macaronis on two of the tines. And just it, was, it just became this notorious thing where everybody downvoted it. And I still to this day, I'm hoping that, that was the, that's still the least... The most downvoted thing in existence on Imager, which is a website probably nobody uses anymore. Anyways, hi! So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? Kinda. I mean, I guess a little bit. Um, also, no, they're not murlocs from uh, World of Warcraft. Specifically from Hearthstone, which is how I know them. Uh, let's see. I slipped the Observer in with the eggs and they're none the wiser. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Thank you so much. I try my best. I appreciate it. Let's see. Intelligence, charisma, and that's it. I think we'll go with intelligence. They descended from... Or did we go for... Did we, was this, is, I think Cobalt would not be... Yeah, more charismatic and endurance and hardy versus intelligent. They seem mostly independent. I don't think there's any sort of society there. Well, they certainly aren't making tea and having nice chats, obviously. But maybe you're right. Any social development is minor at best. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Okay, we get three stealth boys, which is huge, and a shady hat. A shady hat. Okay, is the second chapter done yet? You bet. Your feedback is just the stuff for that rough-and-tumble, survive-anything sort of feel. Of course, readers who aren't already rough-and-tumble may have a hard time dealing with it, but I'm sure they'll pick up survival as they go. Nothing to concern ourselves over, I'm sure. Here's your payment. 
Nothing too complex, just lots and lots of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter. On to the next chapter. We get 110 XP, we get 20, 32 caliber rounds. That's like nothing. Uh, okay, yeah, the last chapter. I don't remember which one these are at all. Uh, I definitely remembered every quest we've done up until this point. But yeah, what the final three ones are, I'm like trying to scratch my head. What the heck are they? I don't know. I'm ready to start researching the last chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Okay. Researching local history, I have no idea what that is. I don't remember that at all. Using old technology, I also don't remember. Wait a second. Maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. I could check the library. Maybe someone's already written a book like yours. That one I do remember, I think, the most. I think we hold off on that. Let's just go in order, I think. Tell me more about researching local history. Or, sorry, researching local history sounds easy. Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Interesting. Rivet City is easily my least favorite city in Fallout 3. But maybe I'll have a newfound appreciation for it now that I'm 29 and not, you know, four years old with the first time I played this. What's the value of digging up history? You mean, apart from making sure we don't repeat our tragic failures in a never-ending cavalcade of human pathos and suffering? Yeah. Let's say a big pile of mentats. I got a shipment of those in recently. Do a good job, and maybe the people of Rivet City will reward you too. Okay, sounds reasonable. Hmm. I wonder what the other two are. Yeah, because Rivet City's a little out of the way. Maybe we save that one for last. I don't think I want to do that one. Okay, I suppose we can put that one off for a bit. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek over there. Using old technology sounds interesting. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? It would. It also sounds too good to be true. What's it worth to you? Well, you'll be getting access to an army of robots. That ought to be reward enough, right? But if you insist, I could spare some pulse grenades. How about you give me them pulse grenades first? Because that would probably come in super handy. Just go in and connect the widget to the mainframe? I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Okay, that sounds like an optional, optional objective to me. Install the processor. No optional objective? Weird. Looking to buy some things. Thinking about your experiments. Oh, let's do this really quick. I've been thinking about your experiments. Can I ask you something personal? Why, I'm flattered. What would you like to know? We'll try to do one of these each time we come back, I think, just to get all the stuff. Uh, how's the book coming? In the last stretch now. The last chapter is going to be called Revive. It's all about how we can rebuild society and humanity, learning how to use old tech, preserving knowledge, building communities, and so on. It's a little ambitious, yeah, but why aim low, right? I like the cut of your jib, Moira. Uh, one more. Let's go with, why do you really want to write this guide? Well, it'll help humanity rebuild, right? I mean, who doesn't want to help humanity? Besides, it's bound to work out better than some of my other projects. I mean, with you helping and all, how could it go wrong? Yeah, why do people not like Moira? I still don't understand. She's supposed to be disliked, but she's so likable to me. Uh, let's see. What do you mean about your other projects? Have there been problems? Well, a little before you first arrived, one of my experiments had a little accident. I mean, how could I have predicted the centaur would think my assistant smelled tasty? But nothing bad like that could happen with this book. 
It's a great plan, and it'll make up for everything else. Okay, that makes a little more sense. She got somebody killed. <laughs> uh, this really isn't a good idea. Please don't write it. It'll just turn out badly. Uh, jeez. I mean, I don't... I don't know what happens if you pass that, actually. I don't want to click this in case she just goes, Okay, the quest is over, then you don't get anything else. That kind of sucks. I think you're right. Now let's get back to work on this book. You got it, super research assistant. Hey, I should get you a costume or something. Uh, you're already doing pretty well. You're already giving me quite a lot of stuff. I have to go now. Try not to die. I'm trying my best, but you're making it pretty difficult, Moira Brown. Okay, so we got a shady hat. Let's take a look at that. I actually don't remember that item on any level. Shady hat. Effect sneak plus five and perception plus one. Actually huge. Although, obviously, you miss out on damage reduction. It's only one. But, yeah, five sneak for free. Uh, that's, like, what? Almost half of a level. And then one perception. Anything that adds to your special stat is big. Uh, let's take a look at our character. I think it's F... Yeah, then I, maybe I hold F to view. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're looking a little suave. We're looking a little nice. Okay. So, this one does not have an optional objective, I suppose. Install the processor widget in the Robco production facility mainframe. Which is, oh my god. Yeah, so this is going to get a lot tougher now. Vault 101 is over there. If we fast travel to that, we should be outside of it. Do we need to prepare it all? Probably not. I think we're okay. Uh, and I think this might be a bad place to try to navigate because if I remember right, Vault 101 is kind of perched uh, on the... On the well, actually, no, not really. Maybe I'm thinking of New Vegas where you kind of have to go in a certain way. Maybe maybe this is a little easier. Uh, what do we use as our bread and butter weapon right now? We need something that's not just using all of our explosives, which are finite. We still don't have a heavy weapon, obviously. Maybe an assault rifle? Okay, what do we... Oh, yeah, the combat shotgun. That's right, we have that. Okay, we're fine. Let's uh, stick with that for now, even though our, our gun stat is basically non-existent. Our... Ah, fine. Fat fingering. Hi. Yeah. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to keep the expiration in. Uh, as many people have said, I ask about it too much. I mean, not many people, but some people say, oh, you ask it like in every episode. But it's just because, again, I try to make, you know, this series, try to do my best uh, with all the stuff that I have going on. And part of that is getting, you know, feedback from people. Although, there is something to be said for just doing your thing and not worrying at all about what the viewers think you know there's something to be it, it's it's a tricky balance like i do agree with that for sure uh i think i've fallen into the trap of catering my content to what the viewers want at points not always because i'm a very stubborn person and i tend to do what i want to do regardless but not always but sometimes yes uh and i think that's bad regardless you can kind of be tricked i think as a content creator into thinking that it's good but yeah it, it could be a bad thing so anyways my point is like it's good to get some feedback you know, oh my god, oh my god. Forgot about these. God, the shotgun is so slow to fire. Okay, so that's a Yao Guai. And I'm so used to Fallout New Vegas. Oh my god, are you serious? Who are these people? Guys, I just fought off a bear. Can we please relax? I'm gonna put this away and try to run into the distance. If they chase me, I will. I will. Hey, if you come up... Who the heck are these guys? So again, you press V to scout. Raiders? Okay. Uh, yeah, no. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna try not use any stim packs as well. Uh, anyways. So yeah, it's good to get some constructive feedback. You know, do you guys like exploration? Would you rather me cut? And I tend to have a good feeling in my gut of what is the best for the series. For instance, obviously, if exploration is good, but if we're like 50 episodes in and we're like, you know, doing this type of exploration where nothing really is happening all that much, at least in terms Oh my god! At least in terms of what... Okay, uh, what is it? Uh, six for a grenade, right? Okay, let's time this correctly. Okay, we're gonna kill all these in one fell swoop, hopefully. Ah! This is such a weird thing right now. Okay. Man, these grenades are gonna need some work. I'm gonna need some work firing these grenades. Throwing these grenades out. Okay, we got six more shots. Let's try to be accurate. Boom! Vicious dog. Okay, jeez, Louise. I don't know how far we are. Oh yeah, that's the Fallout 3 special. Always seeing lasers shoot across the 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 wasteland. There's a positive person over here, but it's an iBot who just exploded. Okay. All right. So this is the weird thing about playing games like this, playing Bethesda games on PC, is basically, I think, I don't know for sure, but I think, 
the draw distance is so much higher that you'll be like fired upon from so much farther away than if you're playing on console, right? By the way, I know we're incredibly low and I know I'm risking it. Uh, yeah, I probably should press seven twice. Seven, seven. Okay, now we're okay. Who is, oh my God, they just, what is this? A hostile wasteland or something? Uh, uh. Yeah, the shotgun, the shotgun has like incredible, what the hell is going? I wanted to check that trailer back there too, but we yeah, we've been in constant combat. Okay, let's put this away. What is go what is this? The goon squad. Okay, two shots left. Hi yeah. Right, that's one down. Uh what else do I have? Alright, we're gonna have to switch this weapon out for something else. Let's see. Uh hmm. I kinda like the one shot weapons, yeah, because it's more fun to line up the shots. So we'll switch the hunting rifle to five, right? And we'll equip that. Maybe the power fist too, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh press tab. <laughs> Line up the shot. Hi. Yeah. Okay, this thing is so weak. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I can see Rob Joe Tower over there, by the way. We're almost there. How many shots do we have for this thing? We've got 40 shots. Okay. Jeez. Uh. One more. Got him. All right. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, so I wonder if it's genuinely more difficult if you're on PC than if you're on console, right? Is it, is it tougher because enemies are like always on you basically can see you from anywhere? That's what I would imagine. Okay, also this quest, I don't remember on any level at all. I have no idea where this goes. I'm assuming it goes bad because that, what the heck is that? You know what? Okay, you're gonna help me try out something here. Let's go to the power fist. Yeah, and let's put that on four, okay? We'll see how this goes. We're gonna press four, although I can equip it from the main menu. This is a uh, an unarmed weapon. Yeah, that's a little bit better, and also more related to our character being very endurance focused. Holy crap, man! Th these things are not giving me a, a breath. You have discovered Robco facility. Okay. Oh yeah, wait. There's something important here. I think actually, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I think we want to check. Okay, where's the front entrance? First of all. Hard hats required in this area. Are these entrances at all? We could really use a bed. Okay, I'm press seven two more times. Boop, boop. Just mainly out of fear of explosions. Like just turning around a corner, a car explodes, and boom! Gotta go all the way back to Megaton. That would not be mega fun. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there might be something we want to keep an eye out for. Although I might be getting it confused with. Hello! Move might be getting it confused along. with, uh. Uh, 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 Fallout New Vegas. Hi! Hello, stranger! I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. Nice to meet you. What are you selling? Have a look and see for yourself. Okay, bobby pin plunger, scrap metal sensor module, and wonder glue. Not much of anything that I'm interested in. Do we have anything we can sell to him? Let's sell the assault rifle. How much? Hey, he's got 50 caps. Okay, we'll sell that. We'll sell... Let's see, how about one pulse mine? And then we'll accept that, bam. And uh, yeah, man, I was hoping you'd have at least some schematics. Give me a shot right. if you need anything else. I'd like to buy a robot. I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. I'm just delivering them now. I've got a custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but well, RL3's a bit finicky about the company he keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. Ooh, companion I have no memory of? RL3, huh? Time for me to go. Later. Okay, we're gonna have to remember this guy, because, yeah, companions are a thing we'll obviously have to get on at some point, too. Okay, this guy's not talking to me. He must, uh, he must have, like, a karma check, and I'm not sure at all what his is. Is it neutral? Is it bad? I would be surprised if it was bad. Okay, so, yeah, before we enter the Robco company floor... There is a very tedious side quest in this game, just like in Fallout New Vegas. When I say tedious, I don't mean to apply a negative connotation. I actually don't mind it. It's kind of fun because, you know, you're going around the wastes and exploring a lot. And it's just something that you add to over time. But, yeah, there's uh, the same sort of thing. In uh, Fallout New Vegas, it was the uh, Sunset Star Sarsaparilla Bottle Cat. Is it really not that? Am I just wrong? Huh. Okay, anyways, we'll come back, I guess, if, if I'm wrong and I'm missing the one thing. So, yeah, there's um, there's this one collectible type that we're going to need to be keeping an eye out for while we play this game. And there's a couple of locations, if I remember correctly, that have a ton of them. Like, it speeds up the process quite heavily. Also, that big tower in the distance is super important, but we're not going to deal with that just yet. Uh, so, yeah, I thought there was one here, but I could be wrong. Anyways, open door to Robco Factory Floor. Okay, this is probably going to be a big exploration area for us because, 
yeah, I don't, uh, I don't remember this, first of all, and second of all, I'd like to get all the lore on the areas that, you know, clearly have a lot of work put into them, like this massive factory. Uh, if you didn't know, also, Mr. House in Fallout New Vegas is the, uh, inventor, right, of Robco, and, like, that's how he got his fortune, you know, made, and he's obviously also, what the hell, oh my god, I keep pressing F to pull out my weapon. Uh, brah, brah, ah, back, back, beast. Uh, yeah, he's also, uh, based on a lot of real world, or, or mainly just Howard Hughes, I guess. I don't know if anybody else, but yeah. Based on some real world influences to Mr. House. Although I don't even know if he's mentioned in this game. Uh, we have a lying congregational style? Is that what it was? Congressional style or congregational style? Uh, I think congressional style would make more sense, huh? Yeah, lying congressional style. Boom. Speech increased by one permanently. Okay, and since we're not going sneak, we'll be able to just have our Pip-Boy light on the entire time. Okay, yeah, but let's be very thorough. Ew! Let's be very thorough as we explore the Robco place, because do we even have a... Oh, we do have a quest marker. Yeah, but I don't know if there is a... If there's actually not an optional objective. It might be something that we have to find. There's a Radway there. There's a stim pack there. Uh, let's open these up. Fallout does a good... What the hell was that heavy breathing? Hi! Would you like to die? Here, go ahead and give me your best shot. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, power fists are really fun. Um, they have a lot of a lot of kick. Positive feedback. What's going on here? Oh, you got some pre-war money. Yoinkity yoink. Thank you very much. And a camera. What you you just like die down there and what you want to take a picture of it? Okay, let's see. Nothing there, nothing there. Hello! Energy cells from the Protectron. Pretty good. Anything in there? No, just a plunger. A plunger. Okay, moving right along. I think we'll avoid the main quest area for now. Just again, to kind of get the full story of Robco. Find any, like, terminals and stuff like that. What's that? Radex? Okay. I don't know if I've explained or not, but Radex obviously will give you radiation resistance. But I always forget if it actually gives you a drug problem or not. I always forget. I feel like no. So I, I typically avoid them because I just never remember if it actually doesn't matter or not. Uh, I did not hit F there. What the heck just happened? Let's see. Anything back here? Uh, I'm not going to take any more trash or anything because, yeah, our carry weight's pretty high up at the moment. Let's see. Some darts. Darts are free. Any ammo is, is free to pick up. Doesn't take up any carry weight, which is very nice. Nothing over there. Hello. Uh, break. Okay. What do we have over here? Ah, uh, Stealth Boy. Yes, please. Stealth Boys are very, very, very helpful. A filing cabinet embedded into the ground. No, thank you. Came from back there. Yes? Okay, so we haven't gone through here yet. It goes way up and probably transitions to a different part of that upstairs area. Uh, no! Ew, I took that fishing battery. Gotta drop that because we're really low on carry weight here. Fishing battery. Get the heck out of here. Shift click? How do I get rid of this? Not shift click. Oh, right click. Weird. Okay. Let's go in here. Hi! Oh! Get rid pretty low and no beds in sight unless I've missed them, which I wouldn't be surprised at all. Also, is my light on? Oh, God. It's like super dark even with the light on. Okay, let's see. Whatever our objective is, it looks like it's back here. Or no, way up there most likely. Okay. Let us see. I can see some terminals. I also see a first aid box here with one solitary stim pack. Let's go ahead and be safe and use two more stim packs as well. Okay, let's see. We got some pods where Protectrons can come out of. We got the Big Book of Science, which you might as well just use as you pick them up because you'll probably forget about it. Big Book of Science. Science increased by one permanently. Now, let's see. Terminals that are disengaged. A pre-war book there, which is taking up one spot in our carry weight each time we pick those up. Not great. Okay, so many different paths to take. Where does this one lead us? Yeah, I really would like to find that one zone. This is where we've already been, right? Okay, so that's done. That's done. This is done. So now I think we have to go upstairs. If I remember correctly. Although I'm not remembering much. But I do remember vague, 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 vague things about this. I just have no idea where this quest goes. Yeah, I'm really surprised there hasn't been, like, anything to read. That's that's the biggest surprise about this. Thank you. Another Protectron locked up. We've got an open... Uh, we've got a first aid box there. We've got some jet there. And then we've got a DC Journal of Internal Medicine, which will give us a permanent upgrade to our medicine skill. 
Okay, whole lot of nothing, Robco facility. Come on, give me something, please. Get tons and tons of enemies to our right here. Uh, uh. There's a bit of a heavy delay when it comes to combat and Fallout 3, I've noticed. Okay, let's see. Another Protectron, thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Still no active terminals. Did I just jingle a key there? We'll take both of those. We got 10 more pounds of carry weight, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever unit. Uh, let's see. I just jangled something. It probably fell on the floor. It sounded to me like a key, but I'm not sure if it was anything of importance. Nothing? Okay. Moving right along. Let's see. We didn't go through here yet. Not seeing anything of importance as usual. Let's go back this way. Whole lot of mugs. Okay, I'm hearing some sort of radio broadcast. Railway spikes, Nikola Tesla, you an absolute ton of uh, skill books here at least. Okay, this one is energy weapons increasing by one, which we can use that fire lance for. Okay, we'll shut that off. Another Protectron. Still no buttons, no terminals, no nothing. Time to score. Oh! Not seeing any first aid kits or anything either. Okay, let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, 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 oh. Never ending cavalcade of mole rats and, and mole rats and roaches every which way. Okay, what are we looking for here? What's back this way? Aha! That looks like what we want. Okay, what do we have in here? Small Scorched Book, another Stealth Boy, a pre-war book. Let's see. Okay. Activate Robco Production Mainframe locked with an average lock, which is super duper unfortunate. The processor widget looks like it should fit neatly into this mainframe. Leave the mainframe alone and install the processor widget. Hmm. We're going to leave it alone for now. You leave the mainframe alone. Yeah, let's leave it alone just for now. Because I'm wondering if we could maybe find like a password. I'm wondering if we could maybe find like a pass. Okay, where are you? Find a password to hack our way into that first. And maybe get some more information. Because obviously Moira Brown does not really know what she's doing all that much. Okay, so let's just explore the rest of this top area. And see if there's some like employee ID code or little hollow. Oh. Excuse me. Employee ID code or hollow disk or something. Okay, final room here. Um, yeah, man, super unfortunate. This was unfortunately just like an episode where I explored every single thing, and it was basically useless to do that. There was like nothing of interest in this entire place, other than a whole bunch of skill books. I mean, at least there was that, but yeah, that was that was. I, I cannot believe there's not even a terminal to get any lore about. That's really sad, actually. We can't even hack into this mainframe here, or I guess we can, but we can't read it or whatever. All right, let's give it a shot, I suppose. Here we go. Install the processor widget. Robco processor widget removed. You install the processor widget. Optional, reprogram the Robco facility mainframe. Return to Moira. Oh, that's super unfortunate. So our optional objective is probably something that we can't even do. Optional, reprogram the Robco facility mainframe, but it's an average log. Oh! Science skill 50 is required to hack the terminal. Okay, so... Huh. I guess what we'll do is we'll end here, and I will try to see if there's any way to, like, hack that without having the prerequisite 50 science skill. So we'll give this one a... Yeah, we'll stop here. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, liking the video, leaving comments, and subscribing with the bell turned on all helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next one as we fight... And I will see you in the next one as we fight our way out of Robco facility. Hey, it's me, GV. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of me, I'm live on Twitch pretty much every day. Link is in the description. If you want to go the extra mile to support me in this channel, consider becoming a patron. Link is also in the description. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.